Anyway, there was that. That was really fun. Uh, not the thigh squishy part, just the fact that we were drinking and having fun together. And then the hotel was there was really nice. I finally experienced a bath that would stay warm because I realized they have self-filling tubs. And also the self-filling tub will finish, will like automatically fill itself and then keep it warm. Which is crazy to me. How come this technology has not gone overseas yet? Or maybe it has and I'm just missing out because it is absolutely life-changing. And it's not like it's extremely modern. Like the tubs just look like normal tubs. Some of them even look a little bit olden. Olden style, you know? But they're just automatic. It's great. I didn't tell it on stream. That's how sad I was. I was gonna tell it eventually, but I had to fully process my trauma first because it was that traumatizing. Um, anyway. So what happened was, remember I got a new tub. When I first got the tub installed, and by me, I meant, I mean Papa Rat. So what happened was, after I got the tub, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna enjoy my very first bath experience in the shed. So I turned on both the hot water and the cold water, you know, to try to get the perfect temperature. But what I didn't know is that halfway through, it ran out of hot water, so I was just filling the tub with cold water. And my stupid rat bait brain was like, how am I supposed to get this water up to the temperature it needs to be? Because I like to feel like I am actually boiling from the inside out in my baths. And my stupid rat brain was, how can I get boiling water quick? And the answer to that was to boil water in a kettle and hope for the best. <laughs> how many kettles? This is the stupid part. One. I thought I only needed one kettle. Because I was like, you know, it's boiling water. You know, it will do something because it's boiling. Normally when you take baths, it's only 40 degrees. But I have one kettle of 100 degree water. Something, it will do something, right? So I poured it in and I got in and it was completely underwhelming. It was so cold that my life had amounted to sitting in a tiny tub in my shed in lukewarm water for three seconds. And the fact that I failed to take a bath. I had amazing baths in Kyoto because we had a self-filling tub. It was great. And then they gave us really nice bath soap that you can put in. And the thing with like Japanese baths is that you're not meant to clean yourself in the bath. They're supposed to be for relaxation. So you can share your bath water because you're clean. You take a shower right, in, like, you know, right before you get into the tub. So we all took turns of who got to go first, who got to go second, who got to go third. Like a family. Did you bottle up the water? No, I did not. You nasty! 